Oh, hello. I'm Ron Charles. You know, I love to read. Actually, I'm looking at a book. I'm reading a book. I'm trying to get started. This week's book is The Nine Lives of Samuel Hawley by Hannah... Oh. What? You said the nine lives. It's the 12 lives of Samuel Hawley. Dawn, these videos aren't going to pay for themselves unless we make a few subtle compromises. Whatever. A lot of people are excited about this novel because it's by Hannah Tinty, who's published one novel and one story. Wait, Hannah Tinty's published lots of stories, but she's the co-founder of a magazine called One Story. Dawn, we call it the camera person because that person is behind the camera. Hannah Tinty's novel takes place in a New England fishing town called Olympus, which is just the first indication of the clever game she's playing here. Less sophisticated critics might not notice, but The Twelve Lives of Samuel Hawley is clearly based on a much older story. I'm speaking, of course, of The Twelve Labors of Hercules. Since Walt Disney first gave us the story of Hercules in 1997, the character has been richly explored in pop culture. From Ryan Gosling as young Hercules to Kevin Sorbo's immortal performance in The Legendary Journeys. Hannah Tinty's treatment of this story is considerably less pectoral. Her hero is Samuel Hawley, a ruggedly handsome loner who may remind you of a certain book critic. All Hawley wants is to be left alone to make a safe life for his 12-year-old daughter Lou. But Hawley is a crook with a long criminal past etched onto his body by 12 bullet holes. Every other chapter is an explosive story about how he got one of those scars. We see him stealing cars, <laughs> robbing gas stations, <laughs> breaking into homes, as the novel alternates between Hawley's violent past and his lonely present, his daughter comes to appreciate and love him even more. Mmm, an old-fashioned thriller. Mmm, a modern novel. Hey, you've got a modern-day novel in my old-fashioned thriller. Well, you've got an old-fashioned thriller in my modern-day novel. Mmm, as T.S. Eliot or somebody once said, it's the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup of Novels. That last bit was just too stupid. Old critics never die. They just get all booked up. Oh.